Speaker. Speaker, my question is to the Premier. Speaker, earlier this morning I was joined by the Canadian Cystic Fibrosis Treatment Society and Cystic Fibrosis patients who urgently require access to life-saving drug or can be. Unfortunately, this government's back-of-the-napkin approach to OHIP Plus coverage has resulted in children like Victoria, who is here today, uh, unable to receive the life-saving treatment that she needs. My question to the Premier is, why is the Minister of Health doing nothing to help the thousands of children requiring these life-saving drugs? And, and please refrain from talking about the Exceptional Access Program. Thank you. Mr. Speaker, um, we have every sympathy for um, people who are struggling to look after themselves, look after their families, Mr. Speaker. Um, cystic fibrosis patients and their families struggle with debilitating effects of this disease and, uh, and look for hope in each new drug that comes forward. I, I understand that, Mr. Speaker. And we empathize them. We want, uh, we want these people, we want these individuals and families to know that we are committed to finding solutions, Mr. Speaker. If we weren't, we would not have put in place OHIP Plus, which provides uh, free prescription medication uh, for young people from their birth till their 25th birthday for 4,400 medications, Mr. Speaker, for all of the mm -hmm. medications that are on the formulary. If we didn't care about this, then we wouldn't put that forward, Mr. Speaker. Answer. And what we, uh, you know, what we know is that there is obviously more that needs to be done as drugs are tested and more drugs come on the formulary, Mr. Speaker. But we are committed to finding those solutions, working with the scientists and with the sector to make sure that children and families get Thank the support you. they need. Speaker, back to the Premier. Premier OHIP Plus has caused many barriers and actually reduced access to life-saving treatments for children across this province. Order. Please finish. Thank you, Speaker. And if the government truly cared about children with cystic fibrosis, it's been over two years since this government has even tried to sit down with the makers of Orcambi and come up with a price. Shame. You have to negotiate to get these uh, medications onto the formulary. But, Mr. Speaker, every day we hear of OHIP Plus failing Ontario's youth. Children aren't able to get their anti seizure medication. People, children aren't able to get the medication to help them to breathe. Shame. They're losing access to medications they've had for years. Contrary to this government's talking points and this premier, no one here is against youth coverage. We want to see OHEP Plus dealt with in a competent manner. My question to the premier, will you stand up now and admit you. your policy has failed and work fixed? Appreciating the sensitivity of the question and the answer, I will ask all members to come to order. Premier. Well, Mr. Speaker, with all due respect, you must have the member opposite must have taken his chutzpah medicine this morning to have the nerve to stand up and to challenge this government on our record on putting in place support for children getting access to medication, Mr. Speaker. It's just it's quite unbelievable. I mean, I understand. I understand that there are other medications that will need to go on the formulary, Mr. Speaker. But the fact is that what this party is doing is cut across the board. Shame on This man is a member of a party, Mr. Speaker, that A, does not support the plan that we've got in place, and B, is going to cut any access that young people would have to any of those medications, Mr. Speaker.